how can you skip and count. In this lesson, you will learn how to read arrays by using skip counting. A common misunderstanding is that sometimes we just try to make arrays that don't work. Take seven for instance. We can't make an array that is by twos for seven since there'd be one left over. Instead, an array of seven would simply be a column or a row of seven. Let's review. Rows are horizontal or across, while columns are up and down or vertical. Here is an array of cats. There are one, two, three, four, five columns, one, two, three, four rows. One way we can write an equation for this is by using our five columns of four kitties. This will make our equation of equal add-ins four plus four plus four plus four plus four. Remember, equal add-ins just means that each one of our add-ins is the same. We can count by fours to find out how many cats are in this array. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. There are 20 kitties in this array. We could also count by our rows. There are four rows with five cats in each row. That would make our equation five plus five plus five plus five. And we could skip count by fives to find out our sum. Five, 10, 15, 20. 20 kitties in this array. Let's try another array. Here's an array of X's. There are one, two columns and one, two, three rows. One way we could write this equation is by using the two columns of three X's. This would make our equation three plus three. We can count by threes to see how many X's are in the array. Three, six, six X's in our array. We could also count by our rows. There are three rows with two X's in each row. So we could skip count and first make our equation two plus two plus two to show our equal add-ins and then skip count two, four, six. Two plus two plus two is six. There are six X's in this array. In this lesson, you have learned how to read arrays by using skip counting.